and this shape here is what I call the monoform, which is simply a name I give to, uh, to the basic structure of what we see on television, and in a majority sense, most of what we see in the commercial cinema today. Because you don't just see a subject, you see, you see something being communicated, so-called, to the audience via a particular system of communication. Of course, it's a series of rapidly editing pictures, um, uh, dis constantly displacing us from one thing to another, from one subject, one visual image, with all its associated um, metaphorical, symbolic, personal meanings, uh, different weight of information on the screen, different mass, different shape, different movement, and we're asked to deal with that, usually in five, six, or seven seconds, which is the average cutting work rate, and you change the next, change the next, and so on, so on, so on. This endless barrage of visual information, which is, of course, being accompanied by an audio barrage, all being thrust at the audience in a one-way monolinear push from beginning to end, uh, where in fact, of course, what the audience is to feel or decide at the end point here is already determined at the beginning point on all sorts of levels. Now what we do in Discovery, which we're rather proud of, is we're ahead of the game in this because we've had to do it for so long. And you build in the customization right from the word go, almost the moment the pencil touches the paper pad. There are filmmakers who quite justifiably say, this is my work and I want it to stay the way it is. That's their right and, um, and we respect that. Uh, those are the films we don't buy and those are the films we don't transmit. purpose of 20th century mass, mass audiovisual media is that it is not predicated on incorporating the ideas, feelings, experiences, subjectivity, memory, knowledge, wisdom of the audience or the viewer, the viewers, and engulfing them and taking them into the process and sharing and it's simply involved, indeed it's, it's in 20th century mass audiovisual media is designed to withhold those, to push those away, and to instead engulf the people with this fabricated, fragmented, uh, arbitrary process um, where the person's participation is held out. And that's why everything is moving very fast, to hold back any opportunity for the person to have time to come in and enter the material and challenge it or negotiate with it or anything. <laughs> 